Tired of keeping normal pets such as parrots and guinea pigs? How am I trying a chicken? Well, why not a parrot pig? That's different. Good idea. But first, let's make a work drawing. I'll close up the box and glue down the flaps before we start. Now we can draw. Imagine turning a cardboard box into a chicken. What do we need for that? Well, we need a pair of eyes, a beak, a comb on top, a pair of wings, and two legs. We start by drawing the chicken onto the sides of the box. First, big round eyes. Then, a large oval beak. With two little sacks dangling on each side. Next, the pupils. And then the wings on each side of the box. At the top is what's called the comb. Underneath the beak, draw a wavy line going all the way around the chicken separating the head from the rest of the body. Now, grab your thick marker pen and go over everything with strong black lines. It's good to sketch with a pencil first, because then it doesn't matter if you make mistakes. When you're satisfied with your drawing, go over it with a marker pen. Thick lines are very handy later on, so we know where to paint and where not to paint. And now we are ready to... Paint! Here you can go nuts with crazy colors, but I'm gonna stick to the classic a red, white and brown chicken. I would go crazy, man! Crazy is better! We know you're crazy, Box. Start off with a warm yellow for the beak. Warm yellow means adding a bit of red to the yellow paint. Switch to red for the little sacks dangling on each side of the beak. the same red color for the comb on the top. Now, get some white paint and paint everything below the wavy line. That's the body of the chicken. I'm using something called water-based acrylic paint which you can buy in most art and hobby shops. I'll swap that with another chicken, all painted and dry. See how I've also painted some white in the eyes. Not bad, huh? Grab your marker pen again and freshen up any lines that were painted over. You can also use a thin brush and black paint if you prefer. A 
It's starting to look great, isn't it? Finally, mix a light yellow with lots of white. And pop some dots all over the chicken's head. And on the wings. This gives the chicken a cheerful, mottled appearance. And that's just what we want in a pet, isn't it? We have a nice chicken to play with. But if you want to notch it up a bit, we can. Cat! Then we cut around the parts and open the chicken box. Get the grown up to help you cut along the red lines around the beak, the comb, and the wings. Then fold the parts out. It's always exciting to fold out the box animal because they really start coming to life. The wings and bee can move and do things. Now and again, some parts might be a little loose and need some support. These can be fixed easily with a small piece of cardboard. Just dab on some glue. And place it behind the loose part. This makes it stiffer, stronger, and will last longer. Yeah, just look at that. Dad! Let's prepare the legs before we stick them on. I'm going to draw the legs on a small piece of cardboard. First, the chicken thighs, then legs and feet. Go over the lines with marker pen, as usual. Then cut them out, like these ones. Now for a glue flap. Use a ruler so it's easier to get a straight fold. We're ready to paint the legs now. Paint the feet using the same warm yellow color as the beak. Paint the thighs white, just like the bottom part of the chicken. Spread some glue on the flaps. And press the feet carefully on. Time for the chicken to get some rest and dry out. It looks like a turkey. <sighs> Let's watch it again. First, draw the chicken on the box, one side at a time. First with pencil, then with marker pen. Then, paint the chicken in whatever colors you like. Next, cut and fold out the chicken parts. Make and glue on the legs. And the chicken is done. You can also turn your chicken into a mailbox. Cut a double door on one side of the chicken. And add some knobs on each door. Then your letters can slide in through the beak and out again through the double door. 
box. How about you? Do you have any more ideas? Yeah! You can also use the same crazy method to make other funny chickens, such as this spotty desert chicken, this super fast mountain sprinter chicken, or this crazy alien blob thing from a farm far, far away. Sorted! Easy! One small letter. <laughs> One big letter. Big letter. Ah, yeah, there are thousands of ways you can box yourself. Just use your imagination. <laughs> Thanks for watching! Did you make something? Post a photo on Instagram using hashtag BoxYourself and it might appear right here! <laughs> <laughs>